It is now 7.30 in the morning on November 21st and uh, it's my first vlog. This is a big vlog. It's been a week since I've been vlogging and this will be my seventh vlog and it's a big deal for me because I never thought I could go through with this. Today marks one whole year of vlogging for me. It's a big, 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 big day for me because, well, I never thought I'd be here. I never thought I'd be here at UCLA, at my friend's dorm, on work, at this stage in my life, ever. This was not the plan and completing a whole year of vlogging definitely wasn't either. But it's been an incredible year, probably the greatest year of my life by far and I want to start the day with doing something that scared the living hell out of me for the past two years. He doesn't really love me, I don't really love him. We're just making do because we're both alone. Hey, biscuit. It's my 60th vlog, Biscuit. It's my 60th vlog. Today is my 60th vlog and as far as possible, every single milestone that I've hit is in my first week, a month, 50 vlogs and now my 60th vlog. I haven't really done much because I've been way too tired filming and editing. So December is usually the time when uh, most of my friends studying abroad are back in town. Oh my god! I thought you were in film school! Do you want, it, you want something mid-fair vlog? Yeah, sure. I'm doing film. Yeah. Remember how I told you Chris and I were doing I'm not bad. She be- okay. The Why did you do that? I was scared of you! I got done with my first electronic practical and then we had a one hour break and now it's time for my second. Uh, I did pretty well on the first time. I told them I'm doing something that scared me for the past two years. I haven't told them what. You missed the same Okay, turns out we're all doing things that have scared us. I don't know, Bunk his first ever college class. I'm so proud of you, man. So, so, so goddamn proud of you. Yep. He's been here like three months and he hasn't bunked a single class. Today he has. Mm -hmm. I'm yes, so, I'm so bloody proud of you. <laughs> like, I don't know how to express my feelings right now. Yo, all good. Huh. My hair has been super super precious to me these past two years growing it. Last proper haircut I had was Jan 1st 2016. It's been almost two years and it's it's been absolutely scary to think about getting rid of it. But it's something that's long coming and uh, gets in the way. And so having a lighter head is going to help me focus and uh, surprise to all friends and family. This is This is it. And it's done. This is my hair now for, I don't know. There's a little length at the back so I can tie it. This is super short compared to what it was. This is shorter here. It's a little funny but it's not a big deal. Let's go on with the rest of the day. Getting my last lunch at UCLA with my roommates. Okay, what are we eating? Cafe 1919. Cafe 1919. Oh my 1919. God. He really doesn't like his haircut. I think it's cool though. It's cool a lot. It's getting a little late for my flight, so we're gonna go get lunch at Kuwait. Yeah. I guess this is it, we're leaving. Security. Just about clear security, but we're good. It's 3.25 p.m. My flight's at 5.15. I have just short of an hour and a half to get down to my vlog. Boarding starts at 4.15, so it's take an hour. I'm not done editing. I'm getting onto the flight finally. Really excited to get home.
Uh, th this is a little bit awkward. I mean, I'm not Casey Neistat. I don't fly first class. There's not a lot of filming perks on aircrafts when not sitting first class or business at least. But um, expensive. <laughs> So, I just flew Los Angeles to London and it was a 10 hour, 15 minute flight. Pretty goddamn long. And I was sitting in the middle seat. I'm paying for my own flight tickets. I can't afford business class. Closest upgrade was $328 and just no. I mean, it still doesn't mean you need to sit on like the worst seat in the whole goddamn plane. The middle seat's the worst. You don't get the window box, you don't get the aisle accessibility, you get just nothing. It's like that little scum at the bottom of the hierarchy of seats. It's disgusting. You keep your bag under your seats. You don't have to constantly ask your neighbor to get out so you can get something. You avoid bathroom breaks. You deal with everyone's ass in your face when they need something. It's just absolutely the worst. Nothing, nothing nice about the middle seat. About the middle seats. And of course, this is all based on the presumption that you're a courteous human being. But today, I was like, it, it really like got me thinking. This state of discomfort that I was in, and how much I need this discomfort. So, so I consider myself very ambitious, right? And I'm working towards building a lot for myself. The more comfortable I get, the sooner it is the closer I feel to my goal because for me success is more about comfort. I mean, I don't want to buy a Ferrari, but I want to know that if and when I feel like, I can go buy one. That's about all I want in my life. And the more comfortable I am, the closer I'll feel to where I want to be, and that's dangerous, because I'm nowhere close to where I want to be. I mean, I need to crash in my friend's dorms and sleep on the floor and just do all of this, do as much of the bottom scraping as I can, this privileged life that I've been given, blessed with. So I can can get more and more ambitious. It's kind of poetic in a way. In some dark, convoluted manner. It's it's like this discomfort is helping me appreciate the comfort that I'm working towards already. It's interesting. I mean, sitting here at London Airport filming my 365th vlog every single day for a year. I'm in a space where I never thought I'd be and as I move forward I see my life becoming more and more like that. I mean, I see more often that I'm at a space where I never thought I would be just some time ago. And that makes me incredibly, incredibly happy. More than satisfied, I'm excited. Like, I'm absolutely ecstatic with what's to come. I'm more ambitious than I've ever been. I'm happy. So, thank you to everybody who's ever supported me. It's a very low-key annual vlog. I can't really hype it up because I'm not really hyped up, but thank you to everyone who's ever watched, liked, subscribed, or done anything at all to support me. It means the world to me. And I don't plan on stopping, like, at all.